Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mrs. Smith88. Today I have a Goose Creek Melts haul for you guys. Recently they had a contest on their Facebook page where you could win a gift card. I was one of, I think it was 50 participants who ended up winning like a $25 gift card. I went ahead and I picked these up when they did a sale. It might have actually even been like a $50 gift card. I don't remember the exact denomination of the gift card. But anyways, I picked these melts up as part of the sale. I wanted to explore their melts more. I used their candles. Their candles can be hit or miss. I've had some really good ones that I absolutely love. But I've also had some duds. I like melts, especially in the summertime when I'm not like quite in the mood to burn candles. So let's jump in and get started. I'm just going to grab Sense at Random. The first one I have here is Noah's Ark. Very nice, like, lavender periwinkle color. I am not going to do scent descriptions of these. This is just going to be a haul style video because I am on a limited amount of time. The next one I have here is Rain Drenched Strawberry. Warm and Welcome. Love Letters. Cozy Kitten. And I will say on cold throw, I was not crazy about this scent at all. Nice gray color. These are nice size um, melts. They are 2.1 ounces. I would definitely suggest picking them up when they are on sale as they're kind of, I wouldn't say they're extremely pricey when they're not, but if you can get them on sale, you definitely get a better deal. But this one had almost like a patchouli set in it, and I'm just not a patchouli fan, so I wasn't too keen on this one. I tried to pick up quite a few summery scents. I picked up a grapefruit peach. Beach Vibes. Day in the Sun. If you like sunscreen beachy smells, I definitely think that this would be up your alley as that's kind of what this was reminding me of. Unicorn Candy. I actually have this in a large jar candle. I haven't burnt it yet. It smells very, very nice. Half Moon Bay, very nice peachy coral color. Lost at Sea. Autumn in Amsterdam. I am hoping to melt through a few of these this month. That way hopefully you guys get to see them in my June empties and I will give a more detailed description of how they performed, what I thought of the fragrance, and so forth. Melon Picnic. Banana Pudding. I kind of regret not getting more of these. They did not have this in candle form. Banana Pudding is like one of my favorite scents. This is more of a fall time scent for me. But people kept talking about it going out of stock and so forth. So I figured grab it while I could. So I went ahead and picked that up now. Even though I probably won't melt it until fall time. Let's stay home. And I do love the artwork on their packaging. Breezy Tulips. So about five more left. Cucumber Rain. Definitely look forward to melting this one. I think that this might even be one of my bedroom melts today, so I might give that a try. Lemon Vanilla Cake Batter. I have had this in candle. I have not melted it, but it smells absolutely divine in candle. This is a good all year round, almost like bakery, foodie scent. Definitely highly suggest that one. Very pale yellow color. Three more left here. A lot of people were raving about this one, Strawberry Pound Cake. They were comparing it to the Bath and Body Works strawberry scent that's out now. I personally don't think they're comparable. I've had both. I definitely feel like 
I may prefer this one a little bit more than the Bath and Body Works one. Two more left here. We have Orange Grove Tree, which is almost like a marigold yellow color. And then last but not least, let's go over here to our pile of notes. Last but not least, we have Bath Time. I had this in Candle if you guys seen my empties from, I think March it was in there absolutely loved and adored this. This was hands down the strongest candle I have ever had. I'm not one to blow a candle out because it's too strong. This in candle form was too strong. I could only burn it for a limited amount of time. So I want to go ahead and pick it up and melt and see how it did in melts. So that is my Goose Creek candle tart haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Bye, everyone.